David is asking in the question widget, should people who are not totally white be, uh, be brought up in the white positive environment? As a lot of my nephews are not completely white, uh, but look 100% white due to the strong genes of my sister. That's a very interesting question. Raise everyone. Everyone is welcome to serve white well-being. Everyone is welcome to serve white well-being. It doesn't matter whether they got a little bit of white, no white, 10th white, 75% white. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter uh, any of uh, your, your religious choice or whatever. If you want to serve white well-being, you serve white well-being with us. Now, when it comes to uh, if you are one of these people who say, uh, maybe you are a, a quirk, like uh, 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 which, which is an irregularity, like David, you're talking about your nephews and nieces here, where they they look completely white, even though they are half something else. Those people in service to white well-being, if they're in service to white well-being, they are going to take the moral step to notify potential partners that, hey, uh, if, if that potential partner is, maybe, maybe they make the, the decision that they, are, they won't reproduce with somebody who, is, uh, who, who has no or, or less or whatever it might be uh, non-white in them, or they take the moral step to ed tell their potential partners, hey, look, I, I know that I look completely white and, uh, you know, I, the, maybe they say they identify as completely white or whatever it is. But in, uh, in reality, I have one non-white parent or whatever it might be that they have or, or a grandparent. And they want you to know because um, that is going to be represented in the children. Now, those are the kind of moral steps and actions and sacrifices and deeds that we can expect from people of, of all variation who are serving white well-being. And we already expect evil things out of people in service to, to anti-white ideology. So these moral steps are, are perfectly within a, a person's ability to make. But I will tell you this, when we recapture our destiny, I guarantee you our geniuses are going to finish unraveling DNA. And at, in the future, they'll be able to say, uh, if you want to have something taken out and, and something else set into your genetics, uh, then we could do that for you. And so we need not get into this place of trying to decide what happens when somebody is this or somebody has that or whatever. You don't have to, if you are a white person in the white positive sphere, you're serving white well-being, uh, you, uh, you, you believe, and maybe you are, uh, whatever, uh, uh, so many generations back, and there is no contribution from any other group. It's just straight white positive, or I mean, straight Western kind, the intel as far back as you can look. Uh, then, and you want your children to, to be of the same, then reproduce, marry, and reproduce with people in the white positive sphere who have that similar lineage. There's nothing wrong with that. And, and that's a laudable thing. Uh, and uh, more importantly, whether you have that sort of heritage or you have a heritage, well, you know, you looked back and you did some, and by the way, don't entirely rely on these, these gene testing things in, in toto. Uh, they're not, they're not exactly perfect. And there are cases where anti-whites have owned up to saying there are percentages of non-white far enough back so that they, when they find uh, people who, who don't have that, they just want to do it to, uh, because they, they, it straight, they believe it strengthens their argument. It doesn't hear, it only strengthens their argument in the anti-white narrative where an anti-white narrative where you're not allowed to participate in, unless you have 10,000 generations. Give me a break. But uh, you, you, anyone of, of uh, any makeup can participate and then you can decide who you're going to reproduce with or not reproduce with. I can even see scenarios where there are couples where you could have a scenario where people are, um, maybe they have a, a lot of non-white heritage and they, um, Maybe one partner has less or doesn't have any, and then they would even make the moral decision to have a, a maybe a contributor uh, of uh, a sperm or egg or something of this nature. There are a lot of decisions that can be made, but none of those decisions are going to be forced on anybody because if your m guiding moral principle is white well-being, then you're obviously not going to make the decision to biologically white erase us out of existence, right?
I mean, that just makes perfect sense. Your decision to do that would be would be not in keeping, it would be incongruous with what you claim to be your motivation. And, and again, uh, there is going to be plenty of opportunity in the future to uh, realize a destiny for our people where we say now, which will be that now is going to be the past of that glorious future. We say now, whether you have a thousand generations of nothing else in your genetic heritage, or you've got a grandparent or a parent that was non-white or whatever it is, we can all say in the white positive sphere, or you're totally non-white. We can say in the white positive sphere, we want more redheads. We want more blue eyes. We want more green eyes. We want more hazel eyes. We want more brown eyes. We want more fair skin. We want more uh, you know, black hair. We want more blonde hair. We want more tan skin. We want more or olive skin, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we want more light brown. We want more dark brown. We want more blonde. We want more dirty blonde. We want more platinum blonde. We want more strawberry blonde. We want the entire possibility of what the spirit of the West can give us. And that is exactly the thinking that will carry us to that future where we have that beautiful compilation, that beautiful palette of the spirit of the West present in our environments. That will be a healthier place. It will be a more intelligent place because we will guarantee that it will be. We will commit the deeds. No one will be forced to do anything out of our own morality. And people can go their own ways out of our own morality, though. We will be making sacrifices when we have to make sacrifices, commit deeds when we have to commit deeds, uh, et cetera. Uh, what might a deed be? It might be that, well, geez, uh, sir, your, your IQ is 190 and uh, you have this intense natural loyalty to our people. So we definitely want more of you. Uh, will you provide uh, some semen? Uh, and that might be the, a deed that he would, uh, that a gentleman would commit to uh, so that we could have more of these people. Well, uh, ma'am, you have perfect health. Nothing, you never get sick. You've never had a day uh, of sickness in your life. Your immune system is remarkable. And you also have that, that big prerequisite that you also have this innate loyalty to our people. And that's really what we're looking for, first and foremost. Will you contribute eggs to the greater community? And then that might be a, do, a, a deed that you would commit to. Uh, and who knows what kind of scenarios that might work. There's no way to, to speculate. But all we can do is say that people who are guided by a similar moral principle will take the steps to realize that moral principle and in a way that is uh, safe, welcoming, and accommodating to the participants in that moral structure. And uh, let's see, maybe uh, to that, I will just say, let me see. Good heavens. Does that, I will just say, does that make sense? <laughs> Should have, and this is David asking again, uh, 